My name is Zhao Mei. I used to work at McDonald's. Dave. The man said gently, My name is Dave. He was very charming. Beautiful smile. Have a strong physique. With blue eyes. If it weren't for his bad personality, I might like him very much. This man made me uncomfortable from the beginning. Maybe it's because he took the initiative to mention his name. Stare at me without blinking. Hello, doctor. I smiled unnaturally. What is your order number? He winked at me. Said 13. This is also the book I will wait for you. I felt a nausea, but I held back. Smile as politely as possible. It won't anger him. I won't let him think I have any interest in him. However, it turned out that, no matter what I do, I can't stop the win. I'll ask my colleague to do it for me for a while. Because I don't want to be in this crazy place. Talk to him while picking up your meal. Zhao and smiled and nodded. He gave me a comforting look. Tell me quietly if that person is talking about something. He'll shut him up. The doctor asked Zhao N. Do you know the name of that attractive woman? Sir, he's not interested. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. We don't have to be so rude. The doctor interrupted. I saw him hiding behind. Are you his boyfriend? Or a bodyguard? Sir, please leave. There are other guests in line. Let them wait. The doctor growled and waited. Tell me his name. When the manager found out about it, Danger said to call the police. Kick the doctor out. But it was a shock. The manager asked me if I was okay. I nod. It's okay. Are you sure your complexion doesn't look good? The manager frowned. I can find someone to replace your class. I'm fine if you... I lied. I need money. I can keep working. I can handle my emotions. The manager sighed. Good thing he's gone now. Let me know if he comes back again. I'll call the police right away. Thank you, manager. So I went back to my post. Zhao Yang helped me take on some work. During this period, people kept caring about me. Make sure I'm not too scared. These are wonderful people. But in our past, the hairs on the back of my neck are still standing. I'm still scared. Do you want me to take you home? Zhao Wen asked me after get off work. I smiled. You are so kind. But then you'll have to detour for half an hour. It's okay. So I can exercise a little more. I laughed. We should have bought a car. This salary. I can't even afford a bus ticket. All right, let's go. It's been a slow day. When Zhao En took me home, the tension in my heart eased a little. I put some of the fear I experienced tonight behind me. I wish I hadn't done it. The rustling in the bushes startled me. But I ignored it. Instead, I listened intently to the interesting stories that Zhao En told. He always relaxes me effortlessly. It always has been. We have a crush on each other. We all know that. But I don't know why. We all avoid this relationship. Looking back now, that was silly. And I squinted. Unleash the Chris Evans in me. He opened his arms and said. I laughed. Okay, Captain London. Not even the Captain of England. I don't know if Captain America played. Hit the fast man in the restaurant. But I'm glad you're a small town hero. Care about the little people. I winked and said, You are no small person to me. Wait a minute, that's a little weird. What I mean is, Hey, did you hear that? Zhao and stopped and asked, Hear what? I'm a little frustrated that Anne changed the subject. I've been waiting for these words for months. Listen, listen, like a whistle. And said, turning his head to look at the bushes. What do you think? Oh my God, Zhao Bei Run. When I saw what he saw, it's already too late. The man jumped out of the bushes, 
pushed Xiao Ren to the ground. I screamed and fell backwards. I saw them two cows fighting together. I reached into my pocket. I took out my phone and dialed 999. The police station is less than a mile away. The police said they would come as soon as possible. And I. I can only watch helplessly as the tall man. Knocked down Zhao En. Zhao En. It's a beast almost ten years younger than him. Teenager. After a few seconds. This barbaric evil is over. The man stomped heavily on Zhao En's skull. Rolling like rotten fruit. The man turned to me. I screamed in horror. And he had this beautiful, scary smile on his face. As calm and composed as in McDonald's. He gasped and growled like a beast. We will give birth to the most beautiful baby. We will. The doctor stopped talking. Turn around and face the direction the police car is coming. Then he was like an alien. Screaming into the grass behind the road. Disappear into the night. But the police never caught him. Until now, I still live in. He will find me in fear.